So an incredible amount of you absolutely love this tweet. So today, we're taking a super deep dive into the multilingual tech review blog post automation on Gumloop. Okay, so here we are on the pipeline builder. This particular automation is broken down into four flows. This flow, publish blog, is the main or parent flow. Here, you can enter a comma-separated list of languages and a link to a YouTube video, which is then passed into the generate blog post subflow. Let's switch over to the subflows tab. All right, let's take a look at what's happening here. First, we use the link to the YouTube video to get the transcript. We then use AI to determine the name of the product being reviewed, which in our case is the Rabbit R1. We then use a combined text node to create a catchy headline and output that as the blog title. We also summarize the YouTube transcript and ask AI to extract the pros, the cons, and just write the general conclusion for the blog post. We then combine all of this information into a blog-like format and ask AI to generate HTML to prettify the blog post and make it ghost ready. Finally, we embed the original video in the post and output the HTML content. We can see that the two outputs, blog title and blog posts, are visible on the generate blog post subflow. Similarly, we pass in the video link to the get thumbnail link subflow, which splits the link, gets the video ID, and then uses YouTube to get a thumbnail for the video, which we will then use as the feature image for our blog post. Since this is the video link that we pass in, we would get this as the video ID and use that to get the thumbnail. Going back to the main flow, we see that the image URL is output from the get thumbnail link. Last, but definitely not the least, we have the translate post subflow. This subflow takes three inputs, the blog, the languages in which we want the post translated, and the title of the blog. This particular subflow uses a lot of data manipulation nodes that we have on Gumloop. It first splits the string of comma-separated languages into an actual list of languages. Then, it duplicates a generated blog post and title so that we have four copies of each because we want the blog translated into four other languages. We do this by duplicating the data to match the size of the list of languages. Then, using the combined text node on list mode, we cycle through each language one at a time using AI and the previously generated posts and the title in English to translate the entire blog into the other languages. We then combine all of the generated content into a single list and all of the generated titles into another one, outputting both lists. Finally, back on the main flow, we duplicate the thumbnail five times so that we have five copies. And again, we do this by matching the list size of the translated titles from the translate post subflow. We then pass the translated posts and titles that were output by the translate post subflow along with the duplicated thumbnails into the ghost blog writer. This creates five distinct blog posts that are ready to publish. This particular flow took less than an hour to build on Gumloop, saving us thousands of lines of code and tens of hours of manual blog post creation. Feel free to try out the flow in the description below and have fun automating on Gumloop.